Today we have yet another interior mod for you, and you guessed it, Carbon and Alcantara. Brian, thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. As many of you know, I have a problem. I really like carbon fiber, and now I've had a taste of Alcantara, I can't get enough of it. So, as many of you know, I started with the surround trim, I did the race wheel, Tommy O Garage gave me the shift boot, which is Alcantara with the carbon handle, uh, and he also gave me this, so I can't not install it. This is the BMW OEM Alcantara armrest with carbon fiber, so today, we're gonna show you how to install it. If you don't know who Tommy El Garage is, we're gonna have his channel linked below and I highly suggest subscribing. He does a lot of F80 and track content and he is the man and he has also become a really good friend of mine over the years. So be sure to give Tommy a like and follow. Now to do this mod, you're actually gonna to have to do everything in the back seat, but you're gonna to need to make sure that you have room to remove some pins. So at this time, move your seats all the way up. <laughs> Now when you're moving your seats up, this is the area that you need to clear. There's a pin that you're going to remove, so you don't have to put it all the way up, but it's good to just put them up so you don't nick the back of your seat. Now it is time to remove this piece of trim. Some people like to start from the top. I feel like I'm gonna rip my nails off if I do it like that. So if you go over here, you can get your fingers in, and then you can just very carefully just pull back and then do the same on the other side. And then just pull it out just like that. Um, once you've done that, I'm not sure how much of this you're going to be able to see, you have to disconnect your connection. So for me, I have a connection that goes up here to the controller for your air conditioning, and then I had the two heated seats, and then I had a 12 volt. So you'll see that there are the two black connections, you have the 12 volt, and then this little white one goes up there for the temperature. So once you've removed that, you can just set that to the side and as you can see, it just snaps in a couple locations. It's super easy to pull out and super easy to reinstall as well. If you look in this general area here, you'll see a pin right here and you'll see a pin right here. And those pins are actually what holds this entire thing together. And then there's a little tension spring. So when you go to shut this and whatnot, it doesn't just slam. So the first step is we need to release the tension spring. So if you look in the middle here, I would take a flathead like this. There's a little plastic piece that holds it in place here and a little piece over here. So I'm going to start over here to the left. I'm going to just pry up a little bit and pop that side. And then I'm going to pop this side. Now, to make sure that there's not much tension on here, I am gonna pull it back a little bit. And that's just gonna make sure it doesn't snap really bad. It's still gonna snap no matter what because there's still a little bit of tension, but it's gonna make it a lot better than if you do it when it's closed. Next, what I would recommend is grabbing some kind of needle nose pliers, or I like these vice grips that have a, a point on them, and we're going to press out this pin. So when you're doing this, you're gonna press out this way, but you're also going to need to hold this because it's just a piece of flimsy plastic. So I'll go like this, pop it out like that, and then you can take your pin and you just pull it right out, just like that. Then you can do the same thing on the other side. Okay, go like this. I'm just gonna hold the spring, make sure it doesn't fall. And I'll put this here and then, what you're gonna wanna do is just press it over to the left. There's a little gear you need to clear and you can pull it straight out like that. So if you look over here, this is a little gear that is going to get connected right here where you see these other ridges. So basically all I'm doing is I'm just moving it over left enough to clear it and then pulling it straight out. So then when you wanna install it, you just press it back in, make sure that that's cleared. Then you can take your spring and it goes, it goes over this piece right there and then under here 
and then over this piece, and then under here. And then as we did before, you take the pin, and you just slide it through like that, and that'll make sure everything lines up. Then you take your other pin, you might need to move it around a little bit, and you just push it in like that. Then take, I like to take the end of pliers. You can use a Phillips head, but this just gives you a lot more mass. And then just push that in so it's flush. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Okay. Good. Now, before I put the spring, I'm just gonna test it out, make sure everything's good. And then you can take your, your screwdriver here. And I like to release the tension, that's why I'm pushing it in. And then that's gonna snap into place like that. And we'll test it out. And we have a fully functioning armrest. So with that, let's plug this back in and check out how good it looks. Okay, so this goes here. Okay, and then we have heat seat number one. We have heat seat number two, and then we have our 12 volt. Okay, and you can just take this, line it up, pop it back on, and we are done. So as you just saw, it is very easy to do. And with this Alcantara, the M stitching, and also the carbon fiber, it looks absolutely incredible. And I think that this was one of the finishing touches to the interior of my car. Now I will say, because I have the light interior, I wasn't exactly sure if I was going to like the black Alcantara here or not, but after installing it, I'm really, really, really glad it did. And huge thanks to Tommy for sending this out to us. If you are interested in one, we're gonna have links where you can get them down in the description. And once again, my name is Brian. Thank you so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.